today. For those of you who don't know us, we're Vicky and Glenn and we're Happy Campers Australia. Yep. Come and join us along the Outback Way. The Outback Way, it's called the Great Australian Road Trip. It's the shortcut from Cairns through to Perth. So this is the map we've picked up. The, it really starts from Laverton in Western Australia and grows through to Winton in Outback Queensland. And we've been to WA a couple of times and gone across the Nullarbor and through the Kimberley. So this time we wanted to go through the centre. We're actually in Outback Queensland and it's been frustrating us about the research being always from west to east. We're going to be doing it from east to west. So we're in Winton now. You can probably hear Brolbers in the background. And we'll be traveling to west. We'll be going that way through Alice, then into WA, and it completes at Laverton down the bottom here. I'll show you where we are. We're on camped on the long water hole at Winton. So it's a great starting point for our two and a half 2700 k's is the great outback way and supposedly about half of that is sealed so for those of you who want to do it east to west follow our video and we'll show you how it's done just leaving the long water hole at winton and the whispering kites are everywhere We've driven a couple of hundred k's to the Middleton Hotel, a couple of hundred k's from Winter, and we'll stop here for lunch. There's a choice of pies, sausage rolls or toasters. It's so green on the sides of the roads at the moment, we've had lots of rain. There's a lookout that we've come across, I'm not sure what the name is. You can't drive up there, but we'll get up there and show you what it looks like. Look how green it is. the end of our first day travel. We've driven from Winton and we've set up camp at a place called Hamilton Historical Site. This is all that's left of the old hotel at Hamilton. It's a shame it's behind a wire fence but I suppose they have to do that to protect it. So that's all the ruins that are here um, but We've got lots of space for vans. There's a couple of flushing toilets over there and some long drops as well and a cold shower. We found fly country. We're driving up to a point of interest along the way. Is the legend of the Min Min Light. <laughs> in Boulia, just going to check some road conditions at the visitor centre but like this is what happens in the country next door here we have goats on the footpath and down a bit further there's a goat and a pony just outside the pub Yeah. 
this treeless plain. This must be what they're talking about. Yes, this is vast. And this is treeless. But yeah, this is what they're talking about. So this is the Mitchell grass. That's talked about on this app, the Great Central Way. It says watch for birds such as bustards and the singing bushlark. You find food in the grass. There's a car on the side of the road. When you're in the outback, you should always stop and make sure everyone's okay. Oh, actually, it's a smashed car. Uh -huh. So we don't have to worry if they're okay, unless they're still in there, of course. But it looks like it's been there a while. Yeah. So we're on the emergency airstrip at the moment, which is just Queensland side of the Northern Territory border. Here we are. Welcome to the Northern Territory. <laughs> yeah, when the road changes, yeah. Pull in, we'll get a photo. This is really interesting. In the 70s, you can see 1971 flood level there. There's 75. There's 76. Further, there's 72 and 73. If you go all the way up, I don't know if the sun's, the sun's in the wrong spot, but we've even got 1974 and 1977. So you've got every single year between 71 and 77 that flooded. So the 70s were really a wet time.
having a little rest, donkey? You having a bit tired? Oh yes, it's been a big day. Here comes mum, make sure you're all right. Yeah, you're all right, don't care. Oh, you're gonna rest too. Have a roll. Everyone's had a big day. The animals like the smell of the barbecue plate. <laughs> Little pony's just burned his tongue licking it, so we thought we'd better clean it up, get rid of some smell. This is our campsite at Jervois Station. For the night, it's just coming onto sunset. And look where all the Corellas are gonna sleep tonight. <laughs> right there. A few of them. A few of them in that tree as well. So we might be having an early morning. But that's okay. We've left Jervois Station and only just a few k's up the road. The road work start where they're starting to put fishermen through the gem tree. So it's going to take a long time, big plans. But um, apparently this section has a lot of roadworks. So we've been on the detour road for 20 k's. It was a 20 k roadworks. There's a stop sign up here. Oh, it's green now. So we're getting back onto the plenty. You can see over there where it's prepared ready for bitumen. It's a massive stretch. It's going to be a very nice road. Nice and wide. Very wide. So, we must be going to join up. Sooner or later. Here we are, we found where they're putting out the bitumen over on the right. That nice wide road is black. Just arrived at Gem Tree. Glenn's doing his walk around of the vehicle and van as he does, and he's noticed that there's a weld come loose off the battery box there. It's broken. It's broken. Oh, it's broken, not come loose. The weld's broken. Oh, the weld is broken. So there was a fair bit of jigging around. Yeah, it could be an old one, you know. Yeah. Copped a bit of abuse. It has copped abuse over the time, so. One owner. <laughs> A 
Vicky, Vicky found a way to get dirty. Plus it did that gem trees. We got a bucket, we got a big bucket, we got water, we got stones, and we don't really know what we're doing. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Glenn and Vicky back again. Happy Campus Australia, and we've just <laughs> we've um, just completed the first half of the Great Australian Shortcut, yep. which is from here's our map. Um, we've gone from Winton. Um, we intend to go all the way through to Laverton, but the first half from Winton to Alice Springs, which is mainly the Plenty Highway. So we've completed that one. Yep. Um, so if you've been watching till now, you've watched all of part one. Glenn will probably give you a bit of a rundown. Yeah, it's been a good road. Um, it was, as soon as you get over the border from Queensland into NT, the road isn't particularly good, but um, it's not very bad either. It's just a typical gravel road really. Like we were yeah. led to believe the Plenty Highway is pretty scary well it, in places. Yeah. Um, it was a really pleasant drive by comparison to a lot of other roads. It you? was yes yeah you could it's mainly the dips that you got to watch out for towing your caravan where you've got to go in and out the dips and the, some of the grates um, they have big drop-offs off the grates. Yes, yeah, and, and I did take some video footage of inside the van while this kind of stuff was happening, and it's it's it shakes around. It shakes around a bit. Yeah, yeah. even with reduced tire pressures, it's yeah, it's pretty scary actually to see what happens inside the van. But yeah. everything, nothing's destroyed. It just shakes, and then when you come in, you think, oh look, everything's great. Yeah. You don't know what it's been through. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Anyway, if you've watched the part one, you've seen the changing landscape, and um, hopefully you'll follow us along on part two as well. Yeah, see how we go with part two. Part two from <laughs> Alice Springs through to Laverton. Yeah, so. we're not going to bore you too much with Alice Springs and Uluru um, footage because a that's, lot of people that's do that everywhere. sort of thing. So um, we'll just put a couple of flashes up of Uluru maybe, but um, yeah, our, the main purpose of our our YouTube is to show you the road from west of Uluru through And road conditions, because Rabbit. I was a little bit daunted because the first step from uh, Bulia to Tobamori was the longest stretch without fuel, but also I didn't know what the road conditions were like. Um, but the locals 
at Bulia were pretty non plus as far as they said, oh, the road condition's great. We don't drop the tyre pressures. So we didn't drop the tyre pressures at all. So we've been highway pressures all the way. Uh, okay. Thanks right. for watching. See you on part two. Bye. very technical fridge vent cover that Glenn's made from a piece of plastic. Reusable. Yep. With edging. Unfenced road, watch out for camels. The Outback Way. Building our future. And 182 to Docker River and 190 to the WA border. WA, here we come. We've just found the gravel. We've only been on it a few hundred metres, but it's pretty corrugated already. You can see over the right there. They're pretty, pretty big dents in the road. pretty ordinary but I don't know there's a bit of history involved so it's worth going it's only a short walk from the car park they're laughing at how small it was but he lived in here for 25 days but that's pretty significant is dry at the moment. Lots of finches down there.
I've just walked up the road into WA so you can see the Welcome to Northern Territory but Glenn's on his way coming towards WA. He's going to pull in here I thought but no he's gone past me. Oh maybe he's leaving me behind. Junction Road, made by the Gun Barrel Road Construction Party. Lamp Medell, Surveyor, Scotty Board, Grader, Doug Stoneham, Bulldozer, Rex Flatman Fitter, Frank Quinn Supplies, Paul Christensen Cook, Eric Grafling, Driver, Lassie the Dog, <laughs> Charles, oh, he's got a dog. Charles Peter and Logical Station. There's 44 Oh, well, 44 miles that way, not Ah, so this is the Len Bedell Park on the Great Central Road, which is there. Just seen a missing D shuttle. spare D shackles. So on goes a new one. around the petrol bowsers. This is Warrakerna Roadhouse, Western Australia. So he's unlocked the fuel bowser to fill us up.
really excited. We've been looking for camels this whole road and here they are. We've seen three dead carcasses so far and lots of poo, but no live camels till now. They're big fellas, aren't they? Yep. And they've seen cars before, I think. They're not worried. Oh. Well, we had to see them eventually. Desert Surf Central so it's supposed to have caves and beautiful sunset right. up on the hill to the right which you probably can't see right. we found there's another camper there anyway we'll find somewhere to stop it's the next morning now when we arrived yesterday we planned to go for a walk to the top of the hill which we were that's us camped down there but when we arrived the travelers next to us camped just here invited us to their fire and we just had a, a really good night around the fire with fellow travelers darling and kelly and the sun set and we didn't get a chance to climb the mountain so we've done that this morning but look at the view looking up there great view Just before we leave this free camp at Desert Surf Central, we're going to put some fuel in from the jerry can. Not that we need it, but we've just had, we've been carrying it for a while since, when do you think? I filled it up with Glenda. <laughs> so a, a few thousand kilometres we've been carrying this fuel for, so it's best to use it and then we'll refill it again in case we do need it. I think this is a 30k bitumen section.
started crossing the road. Some bastards. to see if they've got any vanilla slices. I don't like his chances, but he does like a vanilla slice. So. Snot block. <laughs> he calls him a snot block. <laughs> it's not very nice. But um, yeah, we'll see if they have anything to have for morning tea. Another roadhouse with bowsers in cages. This is a tiny roadhouse. It's a bit cute. didn't have the vanilla slice. Yeah. cross gone for a little walk and found some caves it's inside the cave there's paintings there I don't know what they mean I don't know if they're even genuine the, the this cave's open so anyone could get in yeah they might be very old I don't know what that would mean. I think this is genuine. I've seen this symbol before in other, other Aboriginal arts, that circle. Can't remember what it means. This is the next cave along. train just gone past.
view there. Oh, this is a gorgeous camp. And there's no one else here. Okay, wow. Go we go around this one. Oh, I don't know. Like, so many choices. This is beautiful. Look at those cliffs. Giles free camp that we showed you yesterday um, had a really nice night around the fire but we've got excess veggies um, the quarantine station is just 50 k's up the road even though we've been in WA for a couple of days so this morning I've cooked up some roast veggies on the barbie and um, we'll put those in the fridge and we'll have veggies ready for the next few days now that we've got bitumen we're almost at, Lab at Laverton, but look at the road up in the distance there. The black line goes up over the horizon. That's the Rape Central Road. This is the quarantine station as you're coming from the east across to the west. If you come across the Nullarbor, you've got a massive quarantine inspection station where this is more of an honesty thing. It's really important to do the right thing. So um, I also forgot to mention there's no honey or seeds allowed in WA. We don't have honey, so we're fine there. So just remember, do the right thing. Get rid of your stuff. This is coming into the town of Laverton. So Laverton is two Ks ahead. So we've completed the whole of the Outback Way. Great Central Road, second part two, but the whole of the Outback Way from Winton through to Laverton. It's been a great trip, but we'll give you a rundown. We'll show you a bit around Laverton as well. finished we finished the whole length of the outback way from Winton through to Laverton so we gave you a rundown in the middle of our part one which was from Winton to Alice which was mainly the Plenty Highway so now we'll give you the rundown of the part two which is from Alice through to Laverton so that's the Great Central Road so how'd it go Glenn? It was a oh, it was rougher than the Plenty Highway there was some excellent sections, which are about 90 kilometres an hour gravel, with the caravan of course, but um, very inconsistent, you know, sometimes it would be really good, sometimes pretty rough. But it was pretty much three days of corrugations? Pretty much three days of corrugations, yeah. But nothing that rattled us, because <laughs> um, no. we're, yeah, we do a lot of we were expecting that yes it was probably um, or having done the Cape York it was probably similar to Cape York Road except no cattle grids or there was one right at the end yeah that was really interesting that and um, it was on the bitumen. yeah that was really interesting that the whole length of the GCR there's no cattle grids um, obviously because you're going through the desert so um, all it is is sand dunes and different coloured sands, whether it be white, red or yellow. Yes, occasional big tree. There was a couple of good trees as far as the Currajong and um, the Len Bedell tree, which he blazed. And um, they, there was a All interesting landmarks. Yeah, interesting landmarks, but few and far between. Um, interesting free camps, but they were generally around jump up of some description um, yeah very so red, very cavey yeah so, yeah um, very different landscape to the plenty um, which you expect again I suppose going through the desert 
um, road houses were every few hundred k, so the fuel wasn't an issue. Yeah, the fuel situation. I put one jerry can in just to get us past Warburton because I had heard that the fuel was um, you know, the three dollars seventy nine. Yeah, something like that. Three seventy nine. We'd heard it. Um, so we kind of bypassed that one by a twenty litre jerry can. But I mean, we were paying three dollars sixty at other places anyway. So I yeah. mean, when you're paying that, you just um, yeah, I mean, if you just pay the price, there's plenty of fuel, is what I was meaning. Yes, yeah. You, you don't have don't to carry extra. You know, because our Ranger's only got a, the original tank, so it's an 80 litre tank, which um, isn't much compared to a Land Cruiser, but the fuel consumption is less than a Land Cruiser, too. So, um, yeah, so damage? Damage. We had a bit of damage, yes. Uh, it looks like we're blowing out a shock absorber, so it's leaking oil. From the van? From the, in the, on the caravan, yeah, the truck's okay. Um, we had a weld break well, on the, um, the gearbox bash plate. So that's been welded up. And, um, oh, dust, dust ingress. <coughs> yeah, the dust ingress was um, actually surprising because um, if you've watched any of our past YouTubes, dust hasn't bothered me. Um, we only get a little bit in as a rule um, and I say it's always our badge of honour that it means you've travelled somewhere good um, well this time there was more than just a bit of dust and um, it actually got a bit annoying but it was only a few days of it so you know it was just a matter of sweeping every time you open the door um, so that was a little disappointing I don't know if it's just because it's finer red dust than the Cape and Gibb River Road and all those other roads we've done um, but that was a problem. Um, the hot water system. Hot water system, hot water system um, didn't want to fire intermittently there. So um, that was, I uh, made a bit of a workaround because it wasn't earthing because the welds had broken on the plate that heats up the gas. Um, you'd have to know the hot water system to actually. So it's hard to explain. Hard to explain, yeah. But he's so fixed it. I don't it. even know what it's called. <laughs> but, but he's fixed it, so yes. at least we can now have hot showers Basically, and get free it camping. Would, yeah, it wouldn't earth. The, the igniter wouldn't earth unless I held it in place. So it sounds like we've had a fair bit of damage, but the shocks on the caravan, you were thinking they were due anyway. Yes, uh, I was. The, you know, the van's done about 100,000 k's over three, three or four, four years. years. Yeah. yeah. So it was due. I thought it needed chockies anyway, just service related. And um, yeah, I was going to replace it when we got home. So that's not a surprise. One of them wants to be replaced now. <laughs> so. Yeah, we'll be back in yeah. um, in Newcastle. We always go back for Christmas to be with the family. So that's what he was just thinking yeah. that'd be a job for then. Yeah, but, yep. but no, it's a now job. It's a now job. Um, yes. But other than that, um, we're glad we did it. Yeah. So it was a good trip, yeah. Um, would I do it again? Not in a hurry, but... Um, it's a good shortcut. Yeah, the, and the plenty will just get better and better when there's more bitumen down. We would do the plenty again. The yep. Great Central... Um, don't need to. Don't really need to. <laughs> We've done that. Um, but yeah, it is a good shortcut. Yeah. So, all in all, we had a good trip, and we hope you enjoyed watching us. Yeah.